Hey guys, um, I just want to give you a quick tip in regards to using this uh, stud finder. Um, as you know, I'm trying to hang, hang some uh, gladiator shells in my garage area. Now, what I notice about this this machine is not a hundred percent foolproof. All right, um, you do get false positives. Now, as you can see. Um, I made my lines where this indicated there's possible a stud. Now, I was kind of um, suspicious of this, so I suggest don't rely on this only. Try to have something to verify the information that you're getting is correct with this machine. And the best way you can do that is to avoid drilling a bunch of holes all in your, your drywall um, looking for a stud is to make sure that you have some type of bit. As you can see here, I'm using a little fine bit. Not too big, but just enough to where that tells me that there's a center point. I'm going with my drill and just putting a little hole in that location. And if you hit something behind there, like a stud, then you know it was correct. In this case, my machine gave me, told me some, or well, stud someplace in this area. As you can see, I used a little bit, and up here, these are all negative hits, or false positives, if you want to call them. So don't rely on your stud finder to be absolutely correct. All right? Um, use that little bit trick to do a, explore behind that wall and verify there is actually a stud behind there. Um, Again, I'm using this machine here. It works sometimes, uh, but other times it just doesn't, uh, it's not hitting properly. And I, I don't understand. As you can see, it's telling me some type, some, some type of stud back here. It's not strong, but I was suspicious anyway. So, um, and that's it. That's all I can give you a tip when using this type of machine. And as you know, I indicated, I picked up also this little uh stud buddy all right this one works with madnix looking for the drywall screw that's behind the paint and everything um i didn't get any hits for that but i can't rely just on this because sometimes depending how this drywall is put up uh if a person put a screw there or not maybe he went further down to uh find it so this is not 100 percent. so working with this and this along with a nail or just a little screw you need these three checks will help you find your stud all right don't rely on one system to help you find your stud so i just want to add that little tip uh on this video to let you know all right so i'm um, gonna keep on exploring because um, I'm pretty sure there's a couple more studs I'm missing. I think there's one right here. And some reason or another, uh, the machine is not hitting. It's someplace on this area. So I'm going to use the, the little drill bit. And plus, once you find your one stud, there is a stud. Measure out 12 inches to 16 inches. Um, if that, you know, if those method fails, then maybe that'll get you back in the ballpark. So that's another method. So it's all about how they framed it. Um, so some the older houses, they may not be 16 on center or 12 on center. They may be all over the place. So that's what you're just going to have to rely on. All right. Process elimination using three methods, three methods to find that studs. All right. So I just want to bring that to, to you guys. I hope they, uh, this will help you out in finding that stud behind that drywall. So let me continue on and... I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. All right, guys. I just want to give a tip to your DIYers. You're working by yourself. Getting this up, all right, you got to make sure all your lines are are leveled, all right? And to hold it up, if you only got two hands, I found since I'm here working by myself, to get this first track up, just get you like a two by, not two by four, but what is it, a two by two or... Something like this, uh, two by two, I think it is, a uh, two by four, 
um, eight foot long. So what I'm doing, I just pretty much have it coming down to here, and you just need it just to hold it up for for you. All right. So that's the little trick. And what I did also, I got a little drill bit right here. And what you want to do, so as you see, my lines level. To start here at the pivot point. All right. I'm gonna drill a screw here, and then. Once that's in, then it'll allow me to go further down and level it out to the proper line to get it up. So once you get it up, then you're fine. So that's if you're working by yourself. You only got two hands and you need a, a couple of hacks to try to th get this up by yourself. So right now, it's held. I'm going to take this out, hold it up, drill that screw in at that pivot point, and get it in. So that's a little trick for you guys. All right, I hope that helped when you're putting this up by yourself.